Hi, everybody. We are back with another visual pattern challenge. So here's our visual pattern. We have step number one, step number two, step number three. And your job is to figure out how many of these uh, pentagons are going to be in step number four. And if you can, how many in step number 43? And could you write an equation that would predict the number of pentagons in any step at all? So if you'd like to take that challenge, pause the video, give it a try. All right, so let's see if we can figure out visually first what's going on with this pattern. And I think this one is pretty straightforward. In step one, we've got this sort of uh, L arrangement of pentagons. And in step two, I see that right there and it looks like we've added one below. And then this is the pattern from step two here and we've just added one below. So it looks like we start with three and we just keep adding one every turn, every step. So if I wanted to predict how many in step four, I would just add another pentagon down here. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think the the number of pentagons in the next step, in step four, is going to be six. So we may be able to jump right to an equation uh, pretty quickly just by having the visual intuition that we just had. And if you've done a bunch of these before, maybe you're already there. We've got two things going on here. One is the amount that it changes every time, and the other is the starting point. And if you think the pattern is linear, that is, it grows the same amount in each step, then you can use this equation, y equals mx plus b, to, to model that, uh, that pattern. And I think this grows by the same amount each step. We add one, we add one, we add one. That amount that you add each step, that change each step, is the slope. So in this case, y would be 1x plus b, and 1 times x is just x, so we don't even write the 1. And the plus b, that's really your starting point, um, or what, what you need to change this starting point by to, to make it work out. So in step 1, x is 1. So this is predicting y equals x would predict there's one pentagon here. Well, in our starting point, we've got the one, but we've got two more. So we have to add two more to get to three. So in our equation, it would be y equals x plus two. So that's our equation for this line, sorry, for this pattern, which actually, if we graphed it, would be a line. Uh, and let's check this and make sure it works out. So y equals, and we're putting the step number in for x, two plus two. That says four for step two. Yeah, that works out y equals 3 plus 2, that says 5 pentagons in step 3. Yeah, this is working out. So our equation is y equals x plus 2. Having that equation makes figuring this out pretty easy. Um, in step 43, the number of pentagons is just going to be y equals 43 plus 2, and that is 45. Well, how did you do? Did you uh, did you get that one? Did you see the equation uh, jump out at you from the pattern? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.